MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. He will lead this one off today. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Flowers has it. He'll throw down to first, one away. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Adam Frazier. His prior history versus this arm. He's one for two. Now the three and two pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Into the box now, Brian Reynolds. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The first baseman, number 55. Stepping in now, Josh Bell yeah. takes this the other way to right. Markakis has the catch, and here comes the runner from third. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Now with the play, Colin Moran. And the Pirates trying to make this first uh, inning even more productive uh, here. The three and one pitch. He pulls this one into right. Markakis is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he fouls this one off. Another 1-2 delivery. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Nick Markakis digging in now. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He went deep in the contest last night. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The center fielder. Junior. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Line drive to center field. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with that one away. At the plate, Marcelo Zuna seared down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. One run scores. In to score is the runner from first. It's now three to one. Tyler. 
Standing in now, Tyler Flowers. Liner towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Standing in, Johan Camargo. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. The 2-2 gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Here's Gregory Polanco. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two balls and a strike to count. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Two and two. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. The three two pitch fouled away. Polanco on at first, nobody out. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Striding in, Cole Tucker. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home and that misses ball four and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. The pitcher, Chris Archer. A one one. And that misses two and two. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. Bases are loaded with only one out. On the run, this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back days with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Here he comes again, 1-2. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to 2-2. Two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Liner toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's a 3-3 game. Now back. Left fielder. Adam Into the box. Adam Frazier. This is skied into short left center. Coming on is Ozuna. He makes the running play. Two down. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Digging in for his second at-bat, Ryan Reynolds. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. 
but I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Albies scoops it up. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Austin Riley. Count still at one and two. And now pitch on the way. And two and two. Drilled right back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. At the plate now, Sean Newcomb. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Now in the box, Ozzie Albies. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Hit to first. To second for one. Over to Bell for the double play. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Markakis. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. The set and the 1 1. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. So now to the plate, Freddie Freeman. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. 3-2 and two now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Fouled off. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. He's set. Here's the three and two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well-executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Two and two the count. Even a two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Josh Bell the next to hit. He hit a sack fly earlier. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. 
and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Hard hit ball to second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Now batting, the right fielder, Gregory Polanco. Stepping in now, Gregory Polanco. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Jacob Stallings waits on deck. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. Over to Albies. Relay to Freddy. Double play. And that'll end the inning. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. The one two is taken for ball two. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throws in time and that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty and next to bat will be the catcher Tyler Flowers. A ball and two strikes the count to Tyler Flowers. And it's fouled away. Here's another one two. To short. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. Now to the plate, Johan Camargo. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Two out, nobody on. Outside, two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Austin Riley would be next. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Paul Hamels, the 6 4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 32. Up next for the Buckos, Jacob Stallings. He drew a walk his first time up. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. So stepping in, Cole Tucker. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one and two pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning now number four. The pitcher. So bases are empty Archer. here with two gone. And the pitcher scheduled to bat next. That'll bring up Chris Archer. A ball and two strikes now. Three runs, three hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Oh, got him looking at the two-seamer, and that'll end it. Stepping up now, Austin Riley. He reached on a single in his first try. A 1-1. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. 
And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. The 1 2. Is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And he's safe. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Albies. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. And he fouls this one off. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it, he'll go to the bag for one. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. And they're runners at the corners now. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. The count now at two and two. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Three-two pitch. Catches the corner. Got him looking. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. One-one count. The pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Now back, center fielder, Acuna, Acuna. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. And a ball in the dirt as it gets away a bit. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Fastball and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Three and two, full count. Archer comes set. Here it comes. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Robbie Erlin answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Marcelo Zuna will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Well hit to right, but foul. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Stallings is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run.
So the lineup flips over and digging in Kevin Newman. He's one for two in this one. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Now back left field. Adam. In now, Adam Frazier. Left side. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The center fielder, number 10. Standing in now, Brian Reynolds. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The next one two pitch. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. The first baseman. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Josh Bell, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A one two pitch. Hits are even right now at five aside. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Acuna giving chase. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. And he is safe on a close play at the plate. And it's back to one now at 5-4. Ready once again, Colin Moran. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. To third. He's right there. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and next to hit is the catcher Tyler Flowers. One and two now as that one's fouled off. This is in the air out to right field. Under this one is Polanco and he's got it for the first out. Now at the plate, Johan Camargo. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Stepping in for the Braves, Austin Riley. Belted high in the air out to left. Looking up is the left fielder to the track to the wall. And this one is gone. A home run. Ender Inciarte is going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher Hamels. Pops this one up. And that'll get down for a base hit. So a base hit from the pinch hitter will send them back to the top of the order with one away in the inning. The batter, the on, second baseman. Into the box now, Ozzy Albies takes Ozzie. this the other way to right. Polanco is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and standing in the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Grant Dayton takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 75. Stepping up to the plate, Gregory Polanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far.
Now the three and two pitch. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Fouled away. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start now the sixth. Back. Settling in now, Jacob Stallings. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. The bat, number three, shortstop, Cole Tucker. Into the box, Cole Tucker. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Ozuna on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Polanco isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He'll score easily as it's now a two-run game. Eric Gonzalez will come on to pinch hit here. And if they don't walk him, he'll have a great RBI opportunity with runners at second and third and nobody out. Five runs, seven hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. With runners in scoring position this season, Gonzalez is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. The tying run is into score from second. It's a 7-7 game. Luke Jackson takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Kevin Newman. At the plate now, Kevin Newman. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ooh, wait, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Reined in. And finally, there's the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Adam Frazier. Three runs already home and a potential fourth standing at third base. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Makes the throw to first. Two down. Ready for another shot now. Ryan Reynolds. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Reynolds is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one because if it comes again we like to refer to and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning Your Stephen Brault enters to do the pitching now, in the bottom of the sixth number 43 Stephen bottom Brault. of the sixth inning now and that brings in Freddie Freeman
This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. To the plate now, Ronald Acuna. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. At the plate, Marcelo Zuna. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. So now to the plate, Tyler Flowers. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. A little too tall that time. Three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball. Counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Riding in once again, Johan Camargo. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at-bat. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two. Misses above the zone for a ball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. Sent out to straightaway center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Into the box, Austin Riley. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. He set the 3 2. And that pitch misses for ball four. So it's an intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. And he misses two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Two out, bases loaded. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Darren O'Day is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. All set for the start of the inning and digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Two balls and a strike now. Ready with two balls and a strike. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. The 3 2 pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Lined in the right, a base hit. 
With that, the Buccos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. Now batting the third baseman, Colin Moran. In now, Colin Moran fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. The 1-1 home. He is in there for the second strike. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. So coming to the plate, Jacob Stallings. A hit in two tries so far. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. From the stretch. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Chris Martin will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Cole Tucker will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Ready with the 2-1. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Well, he's behind in the count now, and he's probably going to have to turn to something. The swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Nick Birdie will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Luke Maley will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Fly ball, not particularly deep. Left fielder is on the move, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And the Braves are going to like this. They've got a man at third on a leadoff now triple. Right fielder. Nick. Hey, kid. Into the box now. Nick Markinkis. Back up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. And the insurance run comes across to score from third. It's now a 9-7 contest. The first baseman. Freddie. Stepping Freeman. in now. Freddie Freeman. Hard hit ball to short. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. Richard Rodriguez comes on now in an now awfully back. difficult Better situation as there are two on here with Octavia. nobody out. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. Bell picks it up. One there. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Digging in, Marcelo Zuna. He singled his last time up. Chopper foul. The one two is laid off for ball two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Tyler Flowers will be next. High in the air down the right field line. 
but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here's a look over to first, just keeping him close. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. The batter. The Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. It was a walk in his last trip. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. To the left side, but it's well fouled. And it's fouled away. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. Shane Green is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 19, Shane Green. At the plate now, Kevin Newman hit in the air to center field. Acuna is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Coming to the plate now, Adam Frazier. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping in, Brian Reynolds. He was a ground out victim last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. Number 30, Kyle. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. The 1-1 home. in the air out to center field center fielder on the run he gets there and makes the play for the first out now batting Austin Riley it was a walk in his last trip he's set here comes the 1-1 one -one. now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Now another two-two. 
is put in play to the right side of the infield. Newman fields it cleanly. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. A Danny Echevarria will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And there's ball two now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. Nope. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Trying to pick things up where we left Albies. off. Ozzy Albies, Albies and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. And he fouls this one off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The next to bat for Atlanta, Nick Markakis in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Here's a fly ball well hit. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Will Smith comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Eight. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun. It's one and two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Here's the 2 2. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2 and 2, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Fouled away. He's off ball four so now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game how about it Third base riding into the box Colin, Colin Moran. Moran he'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first and he'll try to bunt that man to second but this one kicks foul the one two Weak rounder back to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Digging in, Gregory Polanco. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Polanco. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Number 44. There's a cold strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. 
Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. A close one, 9-8 to eight at the end of the game in this one. The Braves wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Luke Jackson wins in relief for the eighth time this year. Will Smith closes the door for the save is 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Atlanta Braves, nine runs, 12 hits, no error. They left 14 men on base. For the Pirates, eight runs, 10 hits, one error. They left nine men on base.